on the 13th of July, 1936, a Monday, Mr. Robert Arthur James Gascogne Cecil, 5th Marcus of Salisbury, known as Viscount of Cranbourne, responded to a question in the House of Commons by saying that he understood that Heligoland was being refortified by Germany in violation of Article 115 of the Treaty of Versailles. Germany issued an official statement that same day denying rumors that Heligoland will be made a forbidden area for military reasons and that ba bathing establishments will be closed. I have no fucking idea what's happening here, <laughs> but it's all right. Uh, then, um, Jose Calvo Sotelo, uh, leader of the monarchists in Spain, is murdered. And this is in response to yesterday's murder of Spanish Lieutenant Jose Castillo. Both of them called Jose, conveniently. Um, and I actually wanted to read a bit about this. I'll read you the wiki about the assassination of the guy who was killed yesterday, Jose Castillo. So he had been placed on a phalangist blacklist after he was incorrectly blamed for the death of a another Jose, but this one was uh, Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera's cousin, uh, Andres Saez de Heredia. So yeah. And Herrera had been killed during shootouts during the funeral procession of the civil guard of, of a civil guard officer. And I talked about this back in April because this murder happened during a military parade on April 14th. So all these murders are kind of connected. <laughs> um, so yeah, this guy was murdered and then in response they murdered the leader of the monarchists um, the day later. And that was the 13th. Anyway, um, that's enough about that. Um, I have some good news. I uh, miscalculated earlier the mean time to happen. <laughs> so it cannot actually start as late as September. The Spanish Civil War is basically guaranteed to fire between now and like five days. So it could happen at any moment now. Um, so with that in mind, I'm actually going to look at my airplanes here. And I'm going to already put two fighter wings. They're Heinkel HE-51s. And they have a range of 631 kilometers because I do want to make sure I send uh, fighters with good range. But yeah, it doesn't look like I have much in the way of options anyway. I'm already going to put these uh, as close as I can to Spain. I'm going to start moving them uh, here to the uh, Württemberg Air Base. And we need to uh, have a look at our um, Mountaineer Division. Because I do realize, yes, these spirits are good, and then I can uh, design free um, armored uh, divisions. But I'm not going to use any armored divisions in the Spanish Civil War, and I will be able to gain a lot of XP there. So I'm actually going to invest a little bit in making this Mountaineer Division slightly larger, I think. Uh, just adding at least like one, uh, you know, just a pure battalion. Um, but I'll wait until tomorrow to do that in case there are any uh, very obvious complaints from my members of the community. For now I'm going to roll the time, or continue rolling the time. These airplanes should be on their way. Uh, right, they might even arrive today. I mean, that would be a one-day flight, right? Less than one-day flight. It's just a bit across Germany. It's all good. But yeah, I'm just going to send fighters. I think someone advised me to just send fighters to Spain. I think that's also probably the best call. We don't really need to waste our uh, close air support because we're not even producing any. Um, I could also consider deploying my second Mountaineer Division early because uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. But then uh, obviously he will be uh, untrained and he will have to um, gather experience in the field. Anyway, all that being said... Uh, war soon. <laughs>